Okay, we're on to the good of the cause, and we always start with Miss Moore. Uh, so the hot topic this week at East Brunswick is the Drama Club, because they have that, that show right now, the, uh, the Sound of Music, that Dr. Valesky talked about in his report. Such an amazing show, it's this weekend. It was last weekend too, last weekend was the opening weekend. So they, um, they started this journey of creating the show back in January. They had the auditions in the <coughs> beginning of January and, and it was amazing the fleet of students that jumped at the opportunity to have uh, a role in the play. So many people signed up to audition and they auditioned the students and some students were chosen, some students were not, but that's okay because the beauty of Drama Club is that there's no show without the set the costumes, the lighting, the sound. So those students also had the opportunity to be involved in the drama club in other ways, not just on stage, because the backstage work is just as important. There's no show without it. So with all the students who uh, participated, um, who jumped at this opportunity, the show is, uh, has grown something phenomenal. I wasn't there this weekend, but I will go this weekend. I hear it's beautiful, and the forte of the show, I spoke to a bunch of my friends who are in the drama club, the forte, um, among the, the dancing, acting, uh, the music is what's the best thing here, because the music, the, uh, the sound of the music is, is amazing. Um, I think it's amazing to see the, the, perhaps the quiet girl who sits next to me in math class on stage entertaining the entire school <laughs> uh, with these beautiful lights in her face and this beautiful set behind her, and like, it's just amazing that you forget that you're in a high school watching your own peers on stage, you feel like sometimes you're at a Broadway or some sort of off-Broadway show for a much better price. <laughs> uh, it's, it's really a beautiful thing, and uh, everyone appreciates it. It's just such a nice way to kick back and watch your fellow peers perform. Thank you. Thanks. Um, I just want to second that. Um, so two nights prior to the opening night of Sound of Music, I paid ten times the amount to see a Broadway show, and I was equally entertained uh, and I totally enjoyed the show, so I would encourage everyone to get out and see it. Yeah, the students who perform are, some of them are totally Broadway bound. It's crazy. It's beautiful. And, you, and you're exactly right. Uh, along with Mrs. Shu, Mr. Juliana, and I went on Friday night um, after a, a day of snow cleanup. And uh, <laughs> the opening night, the, the students, they, <coughs> they, they kicked it out of the park. I mean, with limited time to practice and coordinate everything. But you're exactly right. The students at at the at after the curtain closes, the, all the students who are involved and all the support, they just fill up that stage. And you're exactly right with the number of students that are involved there. So, great. Very good, uh, Mr. McAvoy. East Brunswick Human uh, Human Relations Council, in recognition of Holocaust Remembrance Day, will sponsor an evening with survivor Paul Beller and the showing of the film 50 Children. This will be on Tuesday, April 14th, 7 p.m. at the Joe Sweeney Auditorium at the high school. It's the story of Gil and Eleanor Krauss who leave Philadelphia and go to Vienna in 1939 to rescue, save some 50 children under Nazi occupied Geneva. Um, went to the New Jersey School Board Association tech workshop. The cloud is here. The cloud is here to stay. I uh, was told by a number of people, most importantly my wife, not to criticize the workshop. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, but, Mr. McAvoy, how's that going? <laughs> <laughs> She wins those arguments. I'm sorry. <laughs> the cloud is here. The cloud is here to stay. And the uh, PSA workshop on uh, March 3rd is snow delayed, and I'll get back to you after the 18th of April when I attend that workshop. Thank you, Doctor. Thank you. Anybody else? Okay. We do have a need for closed session this evening, so I'd like to move that the Board of Education approve the following resolution. Whereas the Board of Education must discuss matters which are not appropriate for discussion in a public meeting, and whereas these subjects are within the exceptions of the Open Public Meetings Act and are permitted to be discussed in closed session pursuant to NJSA 10412B, and whereas the Board of Education intends to discuss the following matters. 
Pursuant to NJSA 10412B, subsection 4, any collective bargaining agreement or terms and conditions which are proposed for inclusion in any collective bargaining agreement, including the negotiation of the terms and conditions thereof with employees or representatives of employees of the public body, the collective bargaining contracts discussed are between this Board of Education and the East Brunswick Education Association. <coughs> Pursuant to NJSA 10412B <coughs> subsection 7, any pending or anticipated litigation or contract negotiation other than subsection B4 of NJSA 10412, uh, in which the public body is or may become a party. Any matters falling within the attorney-client privilege to the extent that confidentiality is required in order for the attorney to exercise his or her ethical duties as a lawyer. The nature of the matter described as specifically as possible without undermining the need for confidentiality. The CC and MC, BC versus Board of Education of the Township of East Brunswick, Middlesex County, Goldstein versus East Brunswick Board of uh, Public Schools, East Brunswick Board of Education versus TNT Sports Training LLC, Wallace Brothers versus East Brunswick Board of Education, Sun Electrical and Wallace Brothers, East Brunswick Board of Education. Brahma Construction versus East Brunswick Public Schools and Doptel Construction, East Brunswick Board of Education and Art Concepts, Insurance Claims through the New Jersey Schools Insurance Group Policies Concerning Workers' Compensation, Auto Liability, Auto Physical Damage, Errors and Emissions, and General Liability, and Legal Advice Concerning Dedication to Real Property. Pursuant to NJSA 10412B subsection 6, any tactics and techniques utilized in protecting the safety and property of public provided that their disclosure could impair such protection, any investigations of violations or possible violations of the law. The nature of the matters described as specifically as possible without undermining the need for confidentiality is school safety and security. Whereas the length of this closed session is estimated to be 45 minutes, after which public meeting of the board shall reconvene and immediately adjourn. Therefore, be it resolved that the East Brunswick Board of Education will recess into closed session for only the aforesaid subject, and be it further resolved that the East Brunswick Board of Education hereby declares that its discussion of the aforesaid subject will be made public at a time when the public's <laughs> interest in disclosure is greater than any privacy or governmental interest being protected from disclosure in, disclosure in accordance with the Open Public Meetings Act. So moved. Mr. Shaw, Mr. Filipchak, is there any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed or abstentions? Good evening, everybody.